And it's also interesting from the passage, Brother Layton, that the father did not go to the, the, the field where he was feeding the pigs, grab the son by the collar, with the son resisting and saying, no, I don't want this. I don't, it's against my nature. I'm, I don't want this. And he drug him home, kicking and screaming. Well, now, now wait, DJ. For, for, DJ, uh, now wait, now wait. That, that's unfair to the Calvinists. <laughs> they would never say that God's kick, kick, dragging people kicking and screaming into salvation. A better illustration would be, and I'm, I'm, okay, I'm messing thank, with thank you. Thank you for correcting I'm, me. Right? I'm giving you a better illustration that would be more fair to the Calvinist. Okay. If 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 God snuck into the pigsty without the son ever knowing, and put some kind of um, drug into the slop that he was eating, that made his desire become humble, and desire to come home, then when the 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 prodigal son ate the pig slop, and then all of a sudden he just like his new he's got this new nature now that's humble, mm-hmm. and he would go oh wait I need to stop fighting and I need to, I need to give up because he ate this this drug that the, the father put into the, the, the to the you see what I'm saying I mean I, obviously that's a stretch of, for any, anybody sure. but no, but it, what it, what it's doing is it's changing it's changing something in eight about the son some nature about the son that makes him humble himself uh, so that he comes home. And, and the reason that the Calvinistic system is forced to add that kind of caveat is because of the conflation of the Calvinists that we've talked about oftentimes, which here's the conflation. Conflation of the Calvinist is it's to say God is sovereign over salvation. And what they mean by sovereign over salvation is he's in control of everything that happens with regard to salvation. And under salvation is two choices, two very distinct choices. The son's choice to come home and the father's choice to receive him when he gets there and to restore him when he gets there. Two distinct choices, but if you call them both salvation and you conflate them and treat them as if they're one choice, then ultimately what you've said is that God is in, is as, in much con, as much control over his choice to receive the son as he is over whether the son chooses to come home or not. So God is controlling both the son's willingness to repent and he's controlling his own provision for the son if he does mm-hmm. repent. And that is never taught in the pages of Scripture as far as I can tell.